How to write a scientific article. Step-by-step -step guide. Title of scientific article. The main elements to be included in a successful title is to cite the main factors studied. For example, state the name of the drug or intervention. Cite the population or clinical context studied. For example, in acute myocardial infarction or intermediate risk pulmonary embolism or early phase septic shock. Cite the design. For example, randomized, double blind, controlled trial, registry, cohort study or case control study. Cite the main finding. For example, increases, reduces or prevents. Put the most important aspect first. For example, if the focus is on the intervention, because this is what distinguishes your article from others, then start the title with the intervention name. Avoid imprecise formulation that serve no specific purpose. For example, avoid terms such as a report of or the effects of. If there are effects, state what they are. Use international common denominations for drug names. For example, clopidogrel, ticigrel or prosugrel. Commercial names should be avoided. They indicate propriety of the pharmaceutical company and may be construed as indirect preference for a particular company. Also, they are not always the same across different countries. Subtitles should be used sparingly. For example, reserve subtitles for names of study groups. Specific recommendations may apply, depending on your target journal. Abstract of scientific article. Main points to keep in mind when writing the abstract. Background section is a brief reminder of the context and a brief statement of the main objective. Should be short and to the point. Two to three sentences are generally sufficient to identify the gap in knowledge that you hope to fill. In methods section, the main methods should be outlined. The main inclusion criteria to define the population define the study groups. If any describe, very briefly, the main interventions or treatments state the primary endpoint you will not have room to explain all the methods in great detail, so stick to the overall defining criteria. Example is adult patients greater than 18 years with septic shock, defined as persistent hypotension despite adequate vascular filling. In results section, list the main results, with means, odds ratios, p-values, etc. for each group. List the result of the primary endpoint first, followed by secondary outcomes ensure that you have given a result for every method you mentioned in the methods section there should be enough detail to back up your conclusion. Conclusion section in which a one-line conclusion summarizing your main finding is sufficient, with perhaps a short sentence with the implications for future research, if you have enough space, the conclusion should be directly related to the main objective and endpoint. There should be no references in an abstract. There should be no discussion or no judgmental statements in the abstract. Remarks such as surprisingly, we observed. There should be no figures, tables or other illustrations in an abstract. Outline of the main features of the introduction section with examples. Background describing what is known on the subject percutaneous coronary intervention is the cornerstone of therapy for acute coronary syndromes, but may be associated with procedure-related complications. What is not known? What elements are still subject to controversy? What is the exact gap in the knowledge that your study hopes to fill? Cite any existing data especially conflicting data that indicate uncertainty. It remains unknown whether, to date, it has not been proven. No study to date has investigated the effect of. There are few data to quantify the effect of. On remains unclear objective positive and negative working hypothesis cite the exact parameter you plan to measure cite the type of patient population or clinical context we hypothesize that the administration of would reduce or increase. 
In the context of we aim to identify, assess, evaluate or investigate through a prospective, single or multi-centre, observational or interventional study. Cite any secondary objectives. Suggestions for the tense to use when writing your introduction section. The aim is to describe the current state of knowledge and tense is present and example is cancer is a common disease. The aim is to describe observations previously published by others tense is past imperfect and example is Smith et al. showed that drug A reduced the rate of death, whereas drug B did not. The aim is to describe a process that began at some unspecified time in the past and is not yet complete tense is present perfect An example is several researchers have investigated the effect of drug A on this disease. The aim is to describe something that has not happened yet. Tense is present perfect An example is it has not yet been determined whether. The aim is to formulate your hypothesis. Tenses are past tense for first verb and present tense for second verb. An example is we hypothesized that drug A increases the risk of bleeding. The aim is to formulate your objective. Tense is past tense and example is we aim to measure. Suggested list of items to be included in the methods section for retrospective and prospective studies. The retrospective studies include subjects inclusion and non-inclusion criteria, ethical considerations, ethics committee approval, name of committee, date and file number, informed consent, primary endpoint, secondary endpoint, statistical analysis data, recorded sources of study data subgroups, if any and number of subjects or samples, while prospective studies include study registration, if randomized sample size calculation, randomization procedure and interventions. Summary of basic guidelines regarding the items to include in each section of a scientific manuscript. The introduction is of prime importance in grabbing the reader's attention. In particular during the review process, the introduction must get the reviewer hooked wanting to read more and thinking to themselves the introduction section of scientific article, in which you will explain current state of knowledge with references. Identify the gap in knowledge that you wish to fill with your study. Outline objectives, primary and secondary. The methods section of scientific article in which you will describe in detail what you did and how. Detail selection criteria for study population. Describe endpoints primary and secondary. Ethical consideration must be outlined. Statistical methods to be described in dedicated paragraph. The results section of scientific article in which you have to describe study results avoid commentary and interpretation. Give a result for every method presented in previous section. Use appropriate illustrations tables and figures. The discussion section of scientific article in which you will start with recap of your main finding. Put your results in perspective with other reports in the literature. Explain significance of results and how they contribute to the literature outline strengths and limitations. The references section of scientific article in which you will list all sources used as basis of your work check accuracy of all references even if copied from other papers. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel thesis helper thanks for watching.